Hello, how are you today? Um, so this is a new, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a new life today and today's video is all about renting a car. So some of you might not be interesting in this video because some of you never rent a car when you go abroad, but you never know and you might change your mind. Why not, depending on the country? And you might also need this vocabulary, like car vocabulary or uh, customer service vocabulary in other situations. So if you're not interested in the subject, you can keep watching for other purpose like vocabulary or just practice your listening in English. So in today's video, I'm talking about renting a car and this is a subject which is pretty important for me first because I always rent a car when I go abroad, except if I stay in a city center. But 99% of the time, we love traveling, using a car and changing city every day. So um, second reason why this subject is pretty important for me is that I've been working for the company Avis. I got something here that I can actually show you somewhere for my badge Avis badge somewhere no maybe not oh, I should have prepared that in advance sorry no don't have it I had a badge with Avis on it with my name so that would have been fun to actually show you but I worked for Avis in the airport of Bordeaux for six years as a student and I learned a lot from that so when I rent a car now I rent it uh, with having in mind my experience as an agent so being on the other side when I actually sold cars and when I sold services about renting a car so if you have any questions about renting a car abroad uh, please do because I'm I'm not saying I'm a real expert but I have an experience of six years in an airport renting cars so and it was a pretty big company so I'm sure you I might be able to answer your questions actually but I'll try to give you as many information as much information so, sorry as I can uh, to just be able to um, give you the most important things that are um, necessary for you to to drive, to travel, and in particular to prepare that as usual, prepare in advance is just the best. So when you rent a car, um, the first thing to um, prepare is to check which company is in the airport or is in the city center or the train station or next to your accommodation which company rents a car next to your accommodation or next to the place where you arrive. If you arrive at the airport, you have to check directly on the website of the airport. Or if you're just going to the train station, you'll get this information maybe on the website of the train station, not sure. Otherwise, you can still um, see that on the tourist information. Or even Google, you just write rental car company in and then you just put the street or whatever you want to show or to ask and Google will find it for you. So check the agencies around. Number two is for me is important is to take big companies like um, I'm not it's not a sponsored video or anything it's just my personal choice I always choose either Avis Europe car Hertz and gold car but big companies or companies who have a pretty big impact on the um, sector um, but it's just a question of security and uh, quality of service and quality of cars however it's obviously a little bit more expensive because you get more stuff but I totally understand if you prefer to go to local ones which I think are also pretty good, but I don't feel secure and safe when I take a local rental company. It's probably because of my experience um, working for Avis, I don't know. But 